what's up, beautiful people? Um, today I thought again about the podcast that I shared a couple of days ago um, with Conan O'Brien and Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. And I actually talked with Anastasia about it. And um, they were talking... No, it's actually a different one. A different Conan O'Brien podcast with Stephen Colbert. And it's amazing too. You should listen to it. I think it's my new favorite podcast, the Conan podcast. And he has an episode with Stephen Colbert, who, sorry, who is another late night host. Okay, now I'm good, I think. <laughs> and um, they have a very interesting connection on something, which is both Conan and Stephen Colbert as a kid and still to this day have this kind of idea that you only get get to good things through suffering. So this belief that you need to suffer so that good things can happen. And if you don't suffer, good things cannot happen. And so they actually, as a kid, for example, Stephen Colbert, he would like lock himself in his own closet and just see how long he could like kind of stay in there and survive in his own closet in a dark closed um damp and hot closet and just stay in there to see um you know how long he could do it um to impose suffering on himself whenever he had to go through things or need to needed to like work something out he did it when you know his father died and he felt like he he needed to suffer to come come out on the other side and um and they both had that and i thought about you know what that means because conan also shared that basically that's one of the biggest struggle for him to this day because like everyone tells him you don't need the suffering to get the good thing you don't need to self-impose suffering on yourself to be able to get the good thing that you want to happen. Like his wife tells him that, his therapist tells him that, friends tell him that. And he's like, I've gotten to a point where, you know, I believe it to 80% it being true. But 20% of me is still like, you guys just don't get it. You guys, you know, it. you guys don't understand how it works. You can't do it, you know. It's almost like... um um abusing the mechanism of karma where it's like it's almost like trying to force a balancing act to your suffering it's like this idea that if you suffer you went through something shitty now life has to come up with something good to happen so it balances out the suffering so if you intentionally create suffering you can make the good things happen too um and that was kind of fascinating to me. And if you want to listen to it again, Conan O'Brien and um, Stephen Colbert is fascinating. But it made me think about an al analogy that made a lot of sense to me. And that's actually ap applicable to a lot of other things. Um, and that is like, okay, imagine this situation. As a kid, as a young kid, you had to put a nail in a wall. And you never put a nail in the wall. No one ever showed you how to put a nail in the wall. And you don't know what a hammer is. I don't know. No one has ever shown you a hammer. You don't know what a hammer is. You, you've never seen it. And so you're resourceful. And so you figure out how to put this nail into the wall without knowing what a hammer is. So you use your shoe. You know, you take the first thing you have and you take your shoe and you use the shoe to put the nail in the wall and it works it works I mean it takes a while but it definitely works and you know you figured out how to do it and and it's you know you had to you you used the tools that are, were at your disposal you knew how to you know use your shoe um, but as you get older you keep using your shoe every time you have to put a nail into the wall because well that's how you've always done it um, and now you know what a hammer is and you've seen a hammer and every time someone sees you using your shoe to put a nail in the wall, they tell you, 
you know, what are you doing there? Like, just use this hammer. Why are you using your shoe? That's stupid. But you think to yourself, why should I use a hammer? Why would I use a hammer? Why should I risk using a hammer if I know my shoe works? Why would I switch? Like, the shoe works, you know? And, um, and I think th there are so many things where we are still using a shoe instead of a hammer to put the nail on the wall. Because as a kid, we figured out a way to handle a certain situation, to deal with something, to do something. And we figured out our own way because, you know, we didn't really have the tools to do it the right way. Um, but then even as we in got, even as the right tools got introduced to us, we never adopted them and are still using our archaic methods to do it because that's the only way we've ever known how to do it, you know? And it's like, back to the suffering, it's like, you know, when they were a kid, both Kona and Stephen, and, you know, Stephen Colbert was like 11 years old when his father died. Um, like, an 11-year-old doesn't know how to deal with losing a father. Probably no one ever knows how to deal with that. You know, and so he as a kid, he didn't know how to deal with it. So he found a solution that worked for him, which was putting himself through suffering, just suffering, like intentionally making himself feel pain and suffering because for him that worked. Like that was the tool that kind of helped him deal with the situation. And it's the only tool he knew he understood how to use. The problem is it's one of many, many tools and it's not the best tool. It's the shoe. Like, you can put a nail in the wall with a shoe, but it's it's just not the most efficient way to with, to deal with the situation. But, you know, if you start doing it at a young age, you just stick with it. Because, like, you know it works. And you don't know if the other thing works and everyone t it's, is telling you that you need. And, and I think that's what comes back to when, like, Conan says, like, 20% still believes that, you know... It works and that the people are just not getting it and not understanding it because like it's his shoe you know he, he's attached to the shoe and so that made me think of what are things where I'm still using the shoe and refusing to use the hammer and I think it's it's kind of an interesting thought experiment and I wanted to share it but yeah that's long story short think about where your still using a shoe and refusing to use a hammer and on that note see you tomorrow peace out hey. hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up sitting breathing doing all the things i hate to love but why not holy shit i just wanna make